Hello, my name is Kathleen Best Gilman and I'm an artist living in Northern Virginia. However, I grew up in Southern Maine and that experience has strongly influenced the paintings that I'm doing currently. Um, growing up in Southern Maine, I was surrounded by the stunning beauty of tide pools, like the one here in this painting, lakes, forested mountains, all of this natural beauty really captured my attention as a child. In particular, I have wonderful memories of going to the beach and seeking out a tide pool where I would explore what was actually living in that pool, the tiny starfish perhaps, periwinkles, and even hermit crabs. I also have memories of traveling up to our cottage on the lake, and in particular, when traveling in the car, I remember the smell of the balsam fir trees as we would arrive at our cottage. I began drawing and painting with a little more serious intent when I was in high school. I had sensitive teachers there that encouraged me to do so. Then in college, I decided to major in art. I went to the University of New Hampshire and got a degree in studio art. And later, I went to the University of Southern Maine and finished a degree in art education. After completing these degrees, I worked in museum education and then for an architectural firm. After being at the architectural firm about two years, I decided to pursue a master's in library science, and that's actually how I wound up down here in Northern Virginia. Uh, when I completed that degree, I had a wonderful internship that took me to Paris, France, and then I settled back in Northern Virginia. Today, um, as a painter, I'm really drawn to the landscape, and I love to depict water um, and the changes of atmosphere and weather in my landscape paintings. I have a studio in my home, and I have several memberships, including at the Art League and at the Springfield Art Guild, the Lorton Workhouse Art Center, and here at the Loft in Historic Occoquan, Virginia. Um, we're doing filming here at the Loft Gallery. Um, I just want to point out three of these paintings have juried into shows. This one on the top was in the Small Works show at the Art League last November. The larger painting of the tide pool behind me juried into the uh, landscape show there last August. And then this small painting here is actually a study painting for a painting called Silent No, no Longer. The, uh, the actual painting is four feet wide, but two feet, so it's about four times larger than what you're seeing here. And that has just taken an award of distinction locally. Acrylic paint has hold my held my attention for about five years. What others have done with oil, I thought I could do with acrylic paint, and I'm really enjoying working with acrylic. It has a lot of versatility and it's fast. It dries very quickly, which some people find debilitating, but I actually find it an advantage. I like that fast drying speed. Um, however, I don't limit myself to acrylics. I also enjoy working in watercolor and pastel. But you have an example of a pastel, which also gives you an idea of some of the other type of um, subject matter that I like to work in. I'm an avid gardener and I do indeed love plants. So, when I use pastel, when I use pastel, um, it may influence my work in other media, like the scumbling effect that you can get in pastel can also be accomplished in acrylic paint. I credit my growth and development of my artistic vision to my education, my training and study and having taken numerous courses in art history, including a course in American art history, some of my favorite painters are Edward Hopper, John Singer Sargent, and Thomas Cole. While my works are primarily realistic, I think you will notice that some of them can be read abstractly. In this little crashing wave painting, actually in both of them, if you look at them, you'll see bands of brown rock at the bottom, bands of, well, in the bottom one, green wave, 
and then blue water behind, and the one above has bands of blue water, and then the wave is primarily white and green with more water behind, which has an interesting abstract quality. What excites me as an artist is working with color, design, uh, texture, and I particularly am excited to create an illusion of 3D space in my two-dimensional work. At the end of this May, I'll be teaching a workshop at the Prince William Art Society. The purpose of the workshop is to help artists compose masterful works and carry through with their design. Please see the Prince William Art Society website or my blog for more information about the workshop. And thank you so much for listening.